y'all. This is Brittany with Brittany's Creations. Oops. Hold on. Gotta fix this. All right. <laughs> um, and I have some really cool projects to share with you. Um, in one of my craft show dollar store hauls, I picked up two tape dispensers. When I got home, I realized the little thingy you put the tape on to spin it wasn't there. So I had to make my own. So I did make my own out of a cork and like rod. And it works perfectly. So I'm pretty proud of myself. So anyways, I finabared, finabared these tape dispensers up using my new Prima paints and tons of metals and fun stuff. So I did one steampunky and like guyish and kind of, well it could go both both ways and I did one kind of bohemian and gardeny and feminine and pink. <laughs> so let me show you that one first. So I just layered a whole bunch of stuff, um, so metals, uh, jewelry pieces, a lot of buttons, cabochons, um, metal pieces, dominoes, bling, pearls, bottle caps, this is a bingo piece, um, so yeah, just a whole bunch of miscellaneous things, and once I layered everything, I painted it with the black gesso, and then I went over with the pink, and then I went in with gold, and then you can see that little bit of green in there I added. So there's that one side, and here is the back, really pretty flower. And then here's this side, it has a peacock, and like the trim, and the cameo, and the buttons, and the bows, and the bling, and the flowers, and yeah, really feminine, very bohemian, I did it. And then I have a cameo here, and up top it's pink, and I have a Saw Crafters little heart piece there. So there's that one. And then this one's greenish, tealy, and gold. So I love this one. So here's the first side of this one. And I have this big metal piece here, which is an industrial chic piece. And then I have tons and tons. I have so many gears on here. I'm, it's like crazy. So I have gears all over the place. I have these, which I've been waiting to use for a project like this. These are these sticker clay mold pieces like there I have keys and I have keyholes so I use the keyhole ones I think I use one of the keys too and I have a bottle cap and a chess piece and some bling and I just oh my god I love this and here's the back here there's one of the keys another bottle cap and gears I know love it the front here I have a metal filigree piece with another keyhole um and then here you can see all the gears I use I know I use so many gears on this I have to go buy more gears now. Um, actually, I have a lot, but I'm I, I'm always buying gears. So um, I have more key of the keyholes and a key, and then this is a Prima resin piece too. And then this one has a filigree with a little mustache. So super love that. And then I also just finished another Finna Bear piece. So I'm gonna share it in this video. Um, it's a box. So, let me sit back down. Hold on one second. Alrighty. Um, so, here's this one. So, this was a wooden box. Um, I love how this one came out, too. Um, it's kind of medieval inspired. Um, I painted the whole thing black. And if you guys want to know what colors, I might not remember exactly, but I can look and I can let you know. So, um, painted the whole thing black. Picked the base color, which was this purpley plum color and then I picked the gold a gold and a silver I wanted to add so I had this is a prima flower I believe and I have some brick pieces in here from saw crafters I have two keys from Michaels one here and one here which I have a chain hanging from I have these really cute jewelry piece spikes that I love um, I have a little metal flower um, I have two p flowers here that I believe are Prima flowers. I have a bottle cap and then this metal jewelry flower here. And then I have a metal butterfly here. This little gold metal flower, or not flower, leaf. And then this cross piece. So pretty much what I did, um, besides this piece, this piece, and this piece, and this flower, I painted everything black. And besides this piece and these, I painted everything black. Um, the flowers I sprayed black so it would be easier. 
um, with the mist and then I went over with the paints. I went over with the purple first and then I touched everything with the gold and the silver and of course someone's calling me. Sorry guys. Um, hopefully that's not too annoying. And then I have some of these uh, Tim Holtz numbers on here as well. And I put little feet on here with these little silver beads and the inside is covered with paper. So, and I painted the inside as well. So there is that one. So let me know what you guys think um, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Okay, so sorry about the phone calling. I told you everybody bothers me when I do this. All right, bye guys.